Welcome to another exciting lecture in Module 1, Terms and Definitions. In this lecture, we're going to examine some new terms, specifically population and sample. A population. What is a population? You will hear this phrase used often in statistical research. A population is any group of interest. Uh, the population might be moon rocks. It might be armadillos in Texas. It might be deer across the Lone Star State. Populations are any group that are of interest. Now, the population includes all members in the group of interest. That is the distinction. A population is any group of interest, but all members in the group of interest. And a population may be very large. A population may be very small. Consider this population. This is a, a very unique population here. I hope you recognize what these are. It's likely that you don't recognize what these really are. This is the entire population of albino singing pigs gleaned from across the entire face of our planet. And you will notice that this population includes 15 of these albino singing pigs. This is a population. This is a population of all 10 to 20 pound rocks found on the planet Mars. Now, how large is this population? This might be a big population. Our population of albino singing pigs was small. A population of 10 to 20 pound rocks on Mars, I suspect, is a very large population. This is an interesting population. I want you to notice the the close set eyes, the balding head, the, the smirk on the face. This is the population of all ugly statistics teachers named Dr. Dog. What is a population? A population is all, often called a universe of interest. And the term universe means a complete set of all items of interest. Now, hence the old uh, joke test assignment which was to define the universe and provide three examples. If you face this uh, question on a statistics test, universe just means the group of interest. But if you face this on a literature test, you're in trouble. What is a sample? Answer, a sample is simply a part or a subset of a population. Now you notice I put in blue the term subset. I'm trying to get you used to some of the nerd terms that might be of value to you, but a sample is part of a population. The sample may be every item in the sample uh, uh, in the population. The samples may be large or small. The sample may be only a one item out of a population, but samples are parts of populations. Do you remember this population? I bet you recognize them. The, this is the entire population of albino singing pigs. Now, what we're going to do is randomly select a sample of these animals. Do you catch the new word I just used? Randomly. Random means that each one has an equal chance of being selected. In other words, when we go to select a, ra a sample, we will do it randomly which guarantees us that one of these pigs is not favored above another. We will randomly select five animals. We'll turn it loose and let the computer pick them for us. There we go. Oh, now we have a random sample of five pigs. They were chosen without regard to their singing ability. Now we have a sample from our population. You will recall the population is the universe of interest, the universe being the entire group. The sample is a part of the population. And again, our sample was random. There are three new terms you should know. These are the things that you should get from this little discussion. Population, every item in a group of interest. Sample, a part or subset of a population. Random, Every item has an equal chance of being chosen. Now continue your journey through the land of nerd. You are making great progress. And to quote uh, the movie Jeremiah Johnson, You've done well, pilgrim, to come so far with so much hair, with so many after it. 
Again, I want to thank you very much for your support. I remind you that your patronage keeps my family fed. Have a good one.